What's up guys, it's I winning back with another video. In today's video we're going to be going over the 335 odd crossfire blitz. Now if you guys are new to my channel, if you did click on this today, I hope you pre I appreciate it if you guys did take the time to subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video if you do right, still run this and you like this uh, video. So anyways, let's get into the setup. The setup is going to be very similar to what we posted on the channel throughout the year. And at the very beginning of the year, when we were one of the first people to post this, it's going to be to slant our line up, spread them, and you're going to use your over the left guard. To the left of them, sometimes it works a little bit better, but you can hover over the top of them as well. What we're going to generate is going to be this pressure, as I'm going to show you guys in the replay, is that the looper is going to come through the middle, and the edge pressure is going to come clean off the edge most of the time, because the running back on the right is going to jump up and try and pick up the looper. When they don't block the running back, you can come the looper and edge pressure most of the time when they block the running back though the looper will come straight through so you get this is just showing you guys that this blitz does still does work I know you guys probably seen it in weekend league uh, most of the time when I play someone there not hovering where I'm hovering they're hovering about five yards back and they're sending six which is not very good in my opinion I don't I don't like to send six I know I've showed you guys to send six uh, which is gonna guarantee pressure which I can show you guys how to send six in another video out of this but I want to show you that you can still send five and sometimes you can get two guys free for six blockers or you can most of the time it's gonna be the edge pressure so that's I'm gonna I'm trying to highlight the edge pressure which if you put your best pass rusher at the left the screen uh, linebacker spot or a defensive end whatever package you have there in your uh, on your team settings and but that's who's gonna be there so if you could just sub someone there put like Von Miller, uh, Cleo Mack, Clowney, the new Clowney, or LT. I usually have LT at my looper or a safety at the looper. Um, but as, as you're seeing in the video, it's pretty consistent still with the blocked running back on the right. Blocked running back on the left, the looper will come through, and then at that point, you're going to want to send the cornerback and then uh, flat the left of screen end instead. But we can cover that in another video. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comment section. Again, if you guys are new, please subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. I know a lot of people are still running 3-3-5 odd in weekend league, but what I've seen, they're not running it correctly. They're because they can't contain, so they're just standing back and they're just praying, praying for the blooper to come or the block shed. So I'm just trying to help you guys out so you can free up one of your guys to come in free. So as again, the setup is really simple. We've covered it before on this channel. You just spread your line, slant them up. You're going to hold L2 and R2 after you man up your user on the running back over the left guard. Stand to the left of him to generate more uh, guaranteed pressure. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.